Hey Scorpio, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to take a look into your recent past, your current energy and your future. And we're going to see what the universe would like you to know. I also do personal readings, so if you'd like to book one, I will leave my website in the description and you can check it out. But let's begin today's reading. Messages for Scorpio, Sun, Moon and Rising. What does Scorpio need to know at this time? Okay, we have the Three of Wands in your recent past, the Knight of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, and the Moon. Scorpio, I feel like something here is triggering you recently. It's like you're acting on impulse, you're wanting to just jump straight into something or like you're assuming something. The Knight of Swords, this is somebody who's very determined, like he's on a mission. Like nobody is getting in his way, you know, he's got his mind set on something and that's what he thinks. But I feel like with the moon being here, it's not what you, what you see it to be. Like there's a lot more to this than what you're, you're seeing in front of you. There's a part of you that's wanting to just go in a new direction. It's like you've had enough of something. You feel like you're ready for something new. You're ready for a fresh start. Some of you might be viewing a situation in your life in one way, but actually, like, you can't see the full picture. You can't see what's really going on. You might feel like giving up on something or you feel like something's becoming really difficult. It's a lot of hard work. It's becoming like very tiring and very draining. But at the same time, I feel like there's a change that's around the corner that you just can't, you can't see it. So there's you kind of thinking that things aren't going the way that you want, believing that maybe this isn't, you're not doing the right thing. But actually, like you're very close. You're very close to a change. Well, let's go a little bit deeper and clarify this recent past energy for Scorpio. Past energy for Scorpio. We have dog barking, advice from a friend, and then we have cat, a two faced friend. Let's get a couple more for recent past energy for Scorpio. Recent past energy for Scorpio. Diamond, you'll be receiving or giving a precious gift. Target, a goal orientated person. I find this very interesting because I can see you seeing something one way, almost like really getting it into your head and becoming fixated on it. And there's this friend that's giving you advice. Like it could be this friend that's putting things into your head, like making, like you might have had a thought and you've kind of gone to get advice from this friend and they've like encouraged that or they've made you feel even worse about it and it's become something that it's not. We've got a two-faced friend here, Scorpio. So I feel like whoever this person is, they're not giving you good advice. They're not telling you like the truth. It's almost like they're encouraging something here that they know deep down that isn't right. Or they, yeah, it's really hard to explain this energy. There's a friend here that's kind of almost, rather than helping you see things and calming you down it's like they're getting you even more worked up so this could be somebody that when you go to them yeah they, it's almost like they encourage you to just jump into something like to just act on impulse they encourage that behavior rather than allowing you to see things clearly and like help you calm down be very careful I feel like there's a friend here that you should not you should not listen to, like this person is going to, they're not going to help you. They're not going to tell you anything that you don't know. All they're going to do is encourage the thoughts that you might be having that aren't necessarily true. So just be very, very careful. We've taken advice from whoever this friend is. You should know who I'm talking about. This is somebody that it's almost like they like the drama, like they like the chaos. So when there's something that's going on in your life, this person, you can almost see that they, 
they like enjoy it. It's not like they get upset seeing how worked up you are. It's the opposite. They really do kind of push you in that direction. There is a gift here though. I don't know if it's you giving the gift or it's a gift that's been given to you, but this is something that like you should be grateful for. You should appreciate this. It could be a gift from the universe. We do have a goal oriented person here. So maybe there's something that you're wanting and the universe wants to give it to you. Like it's time for you to finally get that luck that you deserve. I feel like there's been a long period where it felt like you were working so hard towards something and not really seeing the results. We've got the page of pentacles in your current energy. The four of wands, the five of cups, and the six of swords. The five of cups is really feeling emotional over a loss, over something in your life that hasn't worked out. Very focused on this, focused on the things that have gone wrong rather than looking at the things that you still have. This is sadness. This is grieving something that is no longer in your life. Some of you could be feeling a heavy energy at the moment. And it could even be from things that have happened like a little while ago now. But it's like it's suddenly hitting you. You're allowing yourself to really release all of that emotion and just let, let it out. Some of you could have been bottling up your feelings. You may have not wanted to face something that was difficult that you went through. And there could be something in your life right now that is triggering this pain. It's triggering it to finally, like, just let yourself grieve. Let yourself fully release this energy. Six of Swords. Like, this is the lessons, the wisdom that you carry with you. All of the experiences, the things that you've been through, you carry that with you on your journey. I do feel like there's something in your life right now, currently, that is coming up. And it's happening to allow you to like fully let go of everything. Everything that you went through that was difficult, that was painful. I feel like you, your way of dealing with it is to focus on something else, to really pour that energy into building something, into creating something good. And don't get me wrong, like you've achieved things from doing that. You really have. And a lot of big like things in your life that have happened have been because of like the hardships that you've gone through and the way that you've took that energy and that pain and you've made it into something good. Like you took all of the emotion and you just poured it into a goal or like some type of success that you wanted to build. It's like you always have something to show for it at the end. But at the same time, it doesn't mean that you don't face that feeling that sadness you know even though you've poured it into something else even though you've been trying to turn a negative into a positive there comes a point where you need to let yourself just be sad and like, allow yourself to see that it wasn't easy it wasn't fair and I think when you get to that point that's when the five of cups happens that's when you allow yourself to really sit with it Sit with the feelings, sit with the pain and yeah, that's when you really grow from it and that's when you are able to actually let go of it and move forward. So if you're feeling that way at the moment, you, just, you don't know why suddenly you've got all of these emotions, just know that that's your body's way of really letting go. It doesn't mean that you've gone backwards, it doesn't mean that you're stuck in that energy again, it's the opposite, it means your body is releasing it all. We have... Heart, love, deep affection and caring. Goldfish, an increase in material wealth or spiritual growth. Crown, honour and respect will come to you. Beetle, good fortune. And I, psychic ability, trust your intuition. Okay, so this is very positive, actually. I feel like there is luck on your side at the moment. When it comes to your work, there could be a recognition for the hard work that you've been doing. 
a lot of people are respecting you. They see what you're doing and how you're handling yourself. And I feel like they notice that like you are really strong. You're the type of person that doesn't let things kind of get in the way. I don't know what it is about currently, but there's something that you've done like very, very recent, or you're even doing it right now, like in your life, but it's making people respect you more. It really is. Like there's people that are having conversations, they're talking about you, they're saying like, wow, like they're really like doing a good job. Like you might not see it, you might not realize, but people are noticing, they're noticing what you're doing. There is going to be this increase when it comes to material wealth, and it says material wealth or spiritual growth, but I feel like it's both of those because your intuition right now, Scorpio, is very, very powerful. It's so powerful. You need to let your heart tell you what's next. Like your intuition is going to pick up on anything that's not right for you. So all you need to do is follow your heart, follow how you feel. You could be being vulnerable with somebody as well and just having a very honest conversation, letting your guard down. And I think that can be hard for you at times. There's been situations that you went through in the past where people had betrayed your trust and they made you kind of shut off for a little while. But there is a change here when it comes to your heart and your love. I feel like you're ready to be open again. Perhaps that's why you're going through this Five of Cups energy. It's like you're fully releasing that pain from the past so that you can be open. What is coming up for Scorpio? We have the Five of Cups. I mean, the Four of Cups, sorry. The Sun. The Strength card. And the Six of Pentacles. Okay. There's a change here. And it's something that you've really been wanting. There's a lot of happiness that I feel is just going to hit you all at once. And you don't, you don't realise it. It's like all of a sudden you notice that you're happy. Like you're moving forward from something. You're letting go of it. I feel like at the moment you are struggling with something and it's playing on your mind a lot. You're feeling very focused on whatever it was that didn't work out. But you are going to suddenly see that this was happening to bring you to this point where you can actually feel at peace because you weren't at peace. Whatever it was that you were holding on to that didn't work out, even though you're sad, even though you cared about it a lot, I feel like there was a lot of like up and down energy it was very difficult and even if you didn't see it at the time like it was causing you a lot of anxiety it was making you feel on edge like you didn't feel at peace you didn't feel you didn't feel like yourself it's like you constantly were kind of waiting on the next thing you didn't know it was a very unstable energy what i'm seeing here in your future energy is peace and happiness you're going to feel settled. You're going to feel like at ease, calm again. And I think that's something that you need. You need to be in a place where you're able to just fully be who you are and not worry about how somebody or something is going to like react in that situation. But you're going to need to be strong. To get to this point, there's a lot of strength. There's a lot of moments where you're going to feel tempted to go back, where you're going to feel like it might be easier to just run towards things that in the moment will make you feel good. But you need to make sure that you don't do that. You need to have willpower. The thing is, like, we've got this card, right? This is it's interesting, Scorpio, because I feel like you're a very, very passionate person. You are. Like, you have... You just have this energy about you where you, you're you all or nothing in a lot of ways. This peace that's coming into your life, sometimes you're going to sit there and you're going to think, like, now what? Like, you're not used to it. You're not used to this energy where things are settled. The Four of Cups, it's almost like feeling bored, bored of this 
new routine, bored of this peaceful situation. So yeah, I feel like it's going to take some getting used to. It's going to take you a minute to feel comfortable and feel at ease without whatever this up and down energy was. And yeah, that's a message that isn't going to resonate with everyone, but there's somebody watching this that will. That peace of mind, that calm, sometimes you're going to mistaken it for boredom. Sometimes you're going to kind of miss that intense energy. And it doesn't mean that you should go back to it. That's why we've got the strength card here. It does not mean that you need that. You don't need that at all. Because the thing is that you don't see Scorpio is when you're sitting in that energy, when there's that calm and that peaceful life that you're going to be living, that's when the universe is going to show up and give you this bigger cup. And that's going to give you that passion. It's going to give you that same excitement. But you need to go through this period of peace and just like no chaos, no drama, no problems, no toxic situations. That like You need to allow yourself to have this time where things are just at ease, where you can just be, be who you are and allow things to come into your life. Because there's something big here that the universe is trying to give you and it can't give it to you when you're too busy, caught up in all of this other stuff. But yeah, I, I feel like that is a very specific message. So if it doesn't resonate, then it's not for you. It's not your, your um, reading or that part isn't your reading. But just know that if you do resonate with that, when you get to that point and when you're sitting there and you're feeling like, now what? Like, you know, what's next? I feel like I need something. I need something that's going to give me that excitement, that thrill. Just know that it's going to come. It's going to come and it's not going to be something that's draining. It's not going to be something that is in and out of your life. It's going to be something that gives you that excitement, gives you that passion. But it's also good for you. You know, it's going to make you... A better version of yourself is going to make you learn more about who you are and reach new potential so yeah there's balance that's coming into your life there's a big change and it is going to take you kind of just sitting with it sitting with the emotions sitting with the feelings we have dark man dealing with a relationship with a man with dark complexion or hair we have January, so January could be a significant month. If not, then this could be a um, Capricorn. If not, then it could be a Aquarius. We have Ant, Work, Achievement, Success. Bird flying, news is on its way. Let's get one more for future energy for Scorpio. Future energy for Scorpio. Well, family wishes come true. So yeah, there's a lot of hard work. Some type of news that you're going to get that is, it's going to make your family, the people that you love, very happy. I think they're going to be very proud of you. This is something that when you get this news, it's not just you that is going to make feel good. Like the people around you, the people that you care about, it's going to affect them and their life as well. So this is very happy news. There is a man here with dark complexion or hair. They're very prominent in your future. Chair empty, someone leaving your life. It could be this man with dark hair that's leaving your life. Fair woman, dinner's or relationship with a woman with blonde, grey or white hair. So we've got people that are involved here. I feel like there's new people showing up in your journey as well. Star, guaranteed success. Yeah, you need to... Believe in this. You need to believe in yourself. You need to just have patience. I feel like at times you can be impatient and you just want that change. You want it to show up straight away. You're going to need to have patience for this big cup to come into your life. Do not get bored and then just tell yourself that like you need to do something different because it's at this point where things seem very settled, where things almost are becoming a little bit like you need something more that's when it's going to show up and it's going to bring you a lot of success, a lot of happiness. The people that you love are going to be very happy too. 
but you need to have patience, Scorpio. So yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this reading. Please let me know your thoughts and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.